Hi again. I uh, I got a commenter on my last video, the the inverter repair where I used a light bulb to help find a, an internal short. Uh, a commenter asked me to make another video about the light bulb trick and go into a little more detail about how and why you'd use it. Uh, it it's not surprising really. Nobody really talks about uh, little tricks like this. They're they're more for I guess they're for old timers. I learned it from an old timer. Uh, now I'm an old timer myself. But uh, yeah, why not? So when we're talking about the light bulb trick, this is what we're talking about. Let's say you have a circuit here. Uh, you have a power source, a battery in this case. You have an inline fuse. Okay, that's it's going to protect your battery or your power supply from overcurrent and. Uh, and that the fuse will blow if there's a problem in this circuit that could present a danger, uh, prevents fires, good stuff. Um, I, I've drawn this circuit as a cloud. Uh, it doesn't look like a cloud. I'm not an artist. Whatever. Uh, because it doesn't really matter what's inside this circuit. The details aren't important. Every power source, uh, be it a battery or a, a wall wart or a bench supply, sees the circuit that you plug it into as a resistor okay every every everything on this end of the circuit sees the circuit itself as a resistor of some value uh, that's, that's going to draw current from this power supply so let's look at a circuit in detail there's our battery and our fuse again. Only this time we, we actually have a, a load drawn as a resistor here. It doesn't matter what it is. It's just a load. Let's call it a resistor this time. And uh, a Zener diode. Uh, reverse biased in the circuit. It's pretty common use of a Zener diode in a, in a circuit. Uh, everything's fine until something happens that shorts that circuit out. Let's say that Zener diode shorts uh, just has a problem and creates a short circuit. I've got something here to represent that. There. That is a shorted diode. And uh, now what we have is all of our energy from our battery going through our fuse and through our short back to ground short circuit in a big way. The fuse uh, only rated for a relatively small amount of current and the wrench rated for a very large amount of current let's say. The fuse is going to give up and blow and uh, protect your battery or your power supply whatever. So if we have a circuit with a short, we, we open it up and we find it's got a blown fuse. What we can do is uh, we can measure, measure around with our meter probes like this, and we'll come up with uh, ordinarily, we'll, we'll find the short this way. Uh, we'll measure zero ohms, or our continuity tester will beep, and uh, a short like this. A shorted diode is really easy to find uh, but let's say we have a circuit that only shorts out when other components power up uh, some some TVs used to be like that because they had a low voltage side and then they had a, a high voltage side and until you power that thing up it was pretty tricky to find the short circuit in the secondary side, the high voltage side. Uh, you might have a bad flyback transformer and it occasionally arcs inside the transformer windings. You can't see it but all you know is intermittently the the set blows, its, blows a fuse every now and then for no reason at all. You put a fuse in it, it powers right back up again but uh, for tricky problems like that just take the fuse out and take your light bulb in this case we'll call this a 12 volt circuit we'll use our, our brake light our 12 volt light bulb 
and just connect it to the two terminals of the fuse holder and power the thing up. It's safe to power it up. We know we're not going to blow a fuse. We don't have a fuse in there. But if we, ha if we have a short, we get a bright light. This, this thing is going to li light up and glow really bright if the circuit is working normally, uh, dim or no light. So if we find the short and uh, repair it, we can, we can still bring it up with the light bulb in place and if the light bulb doesn't light, we know we got our short, we don't have any more problems. So I've built this up, uh, just a battery, a fuse, uh, a reverse diode, I don't have a zener on here, just a, just a reverse diode and a load of some kind, a resistor, and here we go, here's our battery. Here's our fuse, one of the old glass fuses in a fuse holder. Here's our diode, reverse biased in there, this is positive and negative, just like in the drawing. And then uh, on that side of the diode is this uh, work light here that'll serve as our load resistor. So under normal operation, we can turn that light on. Light comes on, everything's fine circuit does what it's supposed to do. Say we have a problem. I'm coming in here with a wrench, so uh, let's say our diode shorts out. Bang. Light doesn't work anymore. All right? So our fuse blew. It didn't. I was hoping for more of a spectacular flash, but that uh, that fuse is in fact blown All right that is a blown fuse All right we can prove the the fuse is blown this is another thing I talked about in an earlier video that of uh, voltage drop if you've got a completely open circuit like a switch turned off or a switch that's gone bad or a blown fuse you can measure the voltage drop across that component and you see in this case we see 12.7 volts our entire voltage supply the entire uh, just 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 as if we were measuring across the terminals of the battery we see our entire supply voltage across that junction there so that fuse is bad uh, when that when our wrench diode shorted it blew everything out so now we can pull that fuse out and we can bring in our friend the trailer light so we'll take our trailer light and take the two leads from it and we will uh, we'll connect one side of the light bulb to one side of the fuse holder and the other to the other side of the fuse holder now with uh, with a short on that side of the fuse holder with our wrench in place that is all right, there's our short. We're going to see all 12 volts across that fuse holder. Ground on that side, 12 volts on this side, and our light's going to come on. So let's hook up our battery. Aha! So we've got a short. So that's where you start your detective work. You get the circuit powered up, and you can go measure uh, measure components and what you'll find eventually if you haven't had any luck with the other method of, of uh, measuring resistance you're gonna find a component like a diode or something like that that measures uh, uh, the voltage drop across the component measures zero like this wrench does and I can I can I can of course put my meter probes across this wrench and it's gonna measure zero volts across it because it's a dead short um, so we find our shorted component we take our wrench out 
we take that, you know, we replace that diode, our short indicator, our, our light bulb goes out, and our circuit starts working again. Right? Shorted? Not shorted. Shorted? Not shorted. That was fun. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, give me a, a like or a subscribe to my channel or, or whatever. Thanks for watching.